What's going on everybody? This is Scott, also known as Chiching King, and today I am going to show you exactly what you need to do to open your own eBay seller's account. One of the questions I get all the time is, I have an old eBay account, but all I ever did on it is buy, so I'm thinking about starting fresh. No, if you have an account that already has feedback and already has history, that will make a better selling account than starting with something new. When you have a brand new account, you're going to have people that try you. You're going to have people that try to take advantage of you, but you can avoid some of that if you already have an existing account. When you're making a new account, one of the things that you're going to need to do is you're going to need an email and we're going to enter all of that stuff and get it set up step by step. So the first thing we're going to do is come up with our email. I've made an email for this account. And so let's go ahead and enter that. And these are the exact same steps that you're going to use when you do it on your end. Now, a couple of reminders. I'm doing this on a PC. Uh, and so it isn't, it may not be identical if you're on an Apple based product because that's not what I'm using. But if you're on a PC, this should be very, very close to what it looks like. So let's get started. So now we're going to click create an account. So on that first step, I enter my name and a password, and that's pretty much all there is to it. And here you're going to enter your street address. All right, once we've entered our contact information, then you're going to come up with this screen right here. And I'm going to make a recommendation to you. You get a lot of choices on, on how to set your account up, but all of my tutorials start with the Seller Hub. And so we're going to start with the Seller Hub. And I truly, all of these things that eBay gives you as selling, like they're gonna, they're trying to tell you to use the Seller Hub, I think they're all true. So I'm gonna click right here, start using Seller Hub. And it's going to give you a welcome screen. It's going to show you around. And so let's show you what that looks like. We can customize it up here. We can create listings over here. And we can work on orders right here. And we can see our messages right there. And that, that is all there is to this. Now I want you to, to see something that I have created this eBay account it's given me a name here on the Seller Hub, but I have an eBay account right here, right now. If I go to create listing, so I've got my overview. If I go to create a listing, it's going to walk you through how to pick one. I will be putting out a new video on exactly what you need to do to list your first item after this is completed. So now that we've done that, we're going to click on messages. We're going to open their invitation one. And right here where it says account, I want you to click on that. Under account, this is all important information that we want to walk through some of it. So under the personal information, before you can change anything, it's going to make you sign or put your password back in. I don't like the name that it gave me. You can change the name. And so I'm going to put Cha-Ching King 2. And because I've made Cha-Ching King before, it's not going to be available, but we'll see if this is available. It's going to make me sign in again. Okay, so I was able to change my username. When you first create your account, you can change your new username to something that suits you better. Uh, it's an individual account. You do not need to open a business account to get started. Even if you're planning on selling, you can change that at a later date. I have my email is already um, is not verified. If I click verify right here, it is going to send me an email to... Uh, for me to verify that. So I want to go do that. And so I enter that code that they emailed me and this will verify my account. So they know that if they need to talk to me, they're getting a hold of my email and I'm going to go ahead and verify my phone number. And now I've verified all my personal information. 
We're going to move on now to sign in and security. I already have a password that I like. I You can set up your own secret passwords. And basically, you're going to get a list of things here for you to choose from. And that's what you would do. Also, you can set up two-step verification. What's nice about two-step verification is nobody can take control of your account. And if you're going to be selling, I think it's important to get that set up. What two-step is, is when you sign in, that it's going to send you a text so that you know that somebody is signing into your account. And so when I set that up, it's going to send me a text and then I enter that number. It's going to make me verify these things all over again. <laughs> okay, now, if you're going to use this on your phone, you would turn this on your phone. I do not want to turn this on for my phone because our primary eBay business account isn't this one. I have created this specifically to teach you how to turn on an account. Uh, devices that you trust would be, if you're going to use this in multiple locations, you could turn that on. You can sign in and view your browsing history. That way, if you see something fishy, you could change your password. And if you've got two-step verification turned on, it makes your account very, very hard to hack into. You can link this to your other social media apps. I haven't done that. I don't have the FIDO sign-in. You're managing preferences. If you take a look at this, like if you're at a home computer, if you're somewhere where you're the only one that's going to be on there, you can put, keep me signed in on this device. If you are in, say, a library and that's where you go into work, you wouldn't, obviously, you wouldn't want to leave that signed in. So that's the kind of things that you would do there. And if you're going to have third-party apps, that's where you would do that. Your addresses are where you're going to have all of your information go. And keep in mind, as we've been setting up this account, a lot of these things have already been done. We've already got our name, we've got our account type, we've got our email addresses, everything on here is set up and ready to go. I get the question all the time, can you use a home address or do you have to have a PO box? I used a home address for probably 15 years without a single issue, not a single issue. But if you have access to a PO box, it's that much safer because it's not at your home. So if you're going to be selling, then I would recommend that you go ahead and set up a PO box. Well, we're we're going to go down to feedback. Oh, when I open my feedback on a brand new account, you're not going to see anything. But there is something important that I want you to see on this page. If you look over here to the right where it says visible to everyone, if you turn this off, you are not going to be able to sell. You won't be able to list anything. And so sometimes people put hide the comments and then later on they can't list anything and it takes a while to figure out why. As a seller, your comments cannot be hidden. So don't turn that off. Uh, but obviously I'm not going to have any. I don't have any to leave. I haven't bought anything on there. So let's back out of this. Now we're going to go to our payment information. And basically tells you that you know exactly what you're doing. We're going to add or delete our payment information. You can add for checkout, you can add a credit card or a debit card right here. And for payment options, you're going to add that right there. And you would go in and add your credit card or your debit card. Now, one of the things that you're going to find out when you're doing this is there's not a place for you to enter your bank information and it's because you haven't sold anything. So some of the things that you're going to have to do, you'll do at that time. Um, permissions, uh, some of these that if you have other people working for you, you might give them permission to go in and uh, create drafts or things like that. We don't have any of those. Communication preferences are how you want to get your information and for the most part, I have everything go through email, but this is where you would turn on. We'll show you that. Um, on the notifications, for me, all I've ever done are text. Uh, for the buying activity, I'm not buying much of anything, but I don't need a bunch of notifications coming to me. Remember, if you leave everything checked, 
you're going to get every notification. And you do you, but for me, I don't want any of those unless I go back in and add it. So I'm going to save that like that. Now this is as a buyer, and again, I don't want any of these going through. I'm already going to know if I sent one. And you'll notice that until we've listed something, a lot of these are not going to be applicable to a seller's account. Uh, this is a feedback reminder. Again, I want no reminders coming to me unless it's a selling reminder. And marketing communications, if you don't open this, you're going to get every single one of them. We haven't sold anything. We haven't listed anything. There's not anything to update, but this is the seller dashboard. And once we create a listing, which we will do in, a, uh, in an upcoming video, it will unlock other things with that first listing. But it really does require its own video. Even though this is short, that will require its own video. I'm going to back up one here for you. Resolution center is what you will use when you have a problem, like you need to cancel an order or you've got a buyer that's made a return request or something like that, uh, or for you to make a return request. Starting a new eBay account is so easy. It shouldn't take you more than just a few minutes. When we get ready and do that first listing, then we're going to need to enter some bank information and things like that. But let's do that in a separate video. Let's make this as easy as possible to open your account and be ready to go. That's it for this one. I appreciate you watching. I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye.